my initial feeling is that the NFL has an agenda. Why do they have an agenda? Well, think about it. The last couple of Super Bowls, Rams and Bengals, who would they rather have, Joe Burrow or the L.A. Rams? They picked the L.A. Rams. They had some bullshit calls against the Bengals. The Rams ended up winning. The Super Bowl before that, they had the, the, the Bucks and the Chiefs. What happened? They had Patty Mahomes and Tom Brady. What's the better narrative? Patty Mahomes winning his second Super Bowl or Tom Brady winning a Super Bowl without the Patriots? The Patriots. Jimmy G, Patty Mahomes. Who won that Super Bowl? Patty Mahomes. So now, in this game, who would they rather have? The Eagles, where if they win, it's like, that's awesome, that's great, that's very cool. Or Patrick Mahomes, after Tom Brady just recently retired, wins his second Super Bowl. I'm picking the Chiefs in this game. See... I don't think that's the case that the NFL wants because I don't think the NFL loves having that one super dominant team that you feel like is a world beater and it's going to be everyone because besides Tom Brady and Joe Montana and Terry Bradshaw, when they won all these rings, typically it was like the Troy Aikmans of the world where the players were capping out, maybe winning two to three rings. And that was a really good career. You look at Peyton Manning, they want him to have more rings. Sure. Drew Brees only has one. Aaron Rodgers only has one. Russell Wilson only has one. Even Nick Foles has one. So I feel like yes, Nick Foles belongs in those conversations. Wanting sure. to push Patrick Mahomes to be a two time championship where there's not even a debate in the AFC of is burrow or josh allen even close to him or justin herbert because it's a lot more interesting if jalen hurts has one ring and then you can consider him a top five quarterback in the nfl because that pushes him into the discussion where he's like hold up josh allen you don't have an mvp lamar does hold up Jalen Hurts has an MVP, and if they win the Super Bowl, he's probably going to get the Super Bowl MVP as well, unless there's a historically dominant performance by a defensive player or Miles Sanders goes for like 300 yards. So the fact that you think they want Mahomes to win two rings, like, no, I think with Brady retiring, Rodgers being on the way out, Matt Ryan being on the way out, they want it more competitive. They want to build another superstar because the NFC for quarterbacks, they got shit. Aaron Rodgers leaves who? Jared Goff is the second best quarterback in the NFC now. Hell no. They want a bona fide star and superstar in Jalen Hurts to be the Super Bowl MVP where he can look at Patrick Mahomes like, hey, I beat you in the Super Bowl. And then Joe Burrow's like, still just need that one ring. And then I'm in the conversation. Who's better? Josh Allen. Okay. If I get a ring, I'm right there with Patrick Mahomes. And people will make that debate because of my talent. Justin Herbert in the same division. If I take him on twice and then probably have to face him again in the playoffs because one of them will be a wild card team and if you get through that division you're probably the best team in the afc so it's like i don't know if i think that narrative is true because i think the nfl wants to build another star and i think it's definitely lacking in the nfc see i think you you have an interesting take i don't know if i agree with it but the reason why i say this is because i agree with it Pat- <laughs> down goes bear um, <laughs> down goes the bear so <laughs> Think about it. Patty Mahomes is already in the top five for most people. Right. And if he wins another Super Bowl, he's going to be in that top five conversation. Uh Jalen Hurts, you're talking about building another superstar. He's already a superstar. So it doesn't matter whether he wins the Super Bowl or not, because no matter what, people are going to put him in the top five anyways. No, they won't. I think they will. I don't think they will. Well, look at it. They got Patty Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Joe Burrow. Those three are consensus top five. And then you want to throw in maybe a Lamar. But I think at that point, it's Jalen Hurts. No, but the problem with that is people are already saying he had the easiest run to the Super Bowl of any quarterback ever. They're saying he had the easiest schedule, which we said the reason why we thought the Philadelphia Eagles were going to make the Super Bowl in the preseason was because they had one of the easier schedules in the NFL and they'd be able to get the number one seed in the bye, which is very important for a young team. And I thought Sirianni could handle it. But people are already saying you beat the Giants and Daniel Jones. So people are like, okay. Come on. Kind of fair. And then you beat the 49ers with no quarterback. So it's like you face Daniel Jones, who's basically a handicapped quarterback on his own just by being himself. And then you go up and then you face actual handicapped quarterbacks where Brock Purdy's in there literally just to hand the ball off. Just to hand the ball off and have somewhat of a threat to throw it. So it's like the fact that if Jalen Hurts gets there and then if he gets wiped out by the Chiefs or if he has a game changing turnover, people are going to be like, he's not top five. He's not top five. They're still going to put Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, and Lamar Jackson over him. 
So it's like Lamar has the MVP. If Jalen Hurts doesn't win the MVP this year, which he got hurt, so he should have been the MVP. It's like, but if you miss some time, it's like, sorry, dude. But at the same time, I think you're wrong about the. I don't think they give a shit about parody. Think about Patrick Mahomes. He wins the Super Bowl this year. What comes next year in the script that Arian Foster proposed was written for him? <laughs> It's we'll uh later. if I guarantee that Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl next year, it's going to be Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, or Lamar Jackson, one of those guys, because Patrick Mahomes could win two Super Bowls, but then right. not win for a while, <laughs> right? So I mean, think about it. Brady won three Super Bowls in four years, and then he didn't win a Super Bowl for a decade. So it's very possible. Hey, let's get him two chips in five years. This is a perfect narrative because we had Tyreek Hill leaving. We had a number of players leave. He played better. He won the MVP. Here to seem to the Super Bowl, won the Super Bowl. That's going to be the narrative. And you know who loves that narrative? The media. You know who also loves that narrative? The NFL. Yeah. Because Patrick Mahomes is already the consensus number one. He wins that. Now it's like, oh, my God, he's the GOAT. Look at ESPN. Look at how they treat LeBron James. <laughs> yeah. LeBron James, since the second he started dribbling a basketball on an NBA court, they're like, oh, my God, he's the next Jordan. And guess what happened? For the next 20 years, I'm not even kidding, since I've been alive watching the NBA, what have they been saying? They've been saying, oh, LeBron James, is he better than Michael Jordan? Which, first of all, I don't want to get into that debate because everyone hates that debate. Yeah. Everybody hates that debate. No one likes that debate. Nobody likes that debate. But what's the argument now? Everyone's still arguing that. 20 yeah. years later, he's about to outscore Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Still having that recession argument. Gets clicks. LeBron, they're going to have Patty Mahomes versus Tom Brady for the next 20 years. And they love it. Yeah. They love that. 